How's it going everyone? I'm Taylor from PhoneDog.com and welcome back to week 45 in our official smartphone rankings recap. Now you may have noticed that we didn't shoot this video last week. We did not upload a recap video for week 44. And that's because I was at CES doing hands-on with new phones and getting some video for that. I didn't have the time to step aside and shoot a recap video for week 44. But starting with week 45, this week, every Tuesday, this video will be shot and you'll see it uploaded to the YouTube channel every Tuesday, around the same time I guess, but every Tuesday. So for week 45 we had very little changes in the OSR, um, both in the People's Choice chart and the Experts chart, we'll go over that in a minute. If you're not familiar with the OSR, what official smartphone rankings are, it's a page on the Phone Dog website where you can go, it's at phonedog.com slash rankings, and you can go there every week to place your vote, see how experts are voting, and see how other people are voting, to see how the best smartphones rank in our charts. So if you haven't placed your vote yet, go to phonedog.com slash rankings and place your vote. Now, let's look over the Week 45 OSR. In fifth place for the OSR for Week 45 is the HTC Droid DNA. Now, I actually have one of these. I'm doing a 30-day challenge on it, which I started yesterday. It has a 5-inch 1080p display, which is Super LCD 3 panel. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of built-in storage with no micro SD card slot, a 2020 milliamp hour battery, so that's 2,020 milliamp hours, and an 8 megapixel camera on the back. Now, it's a great device, and the stamina so far has been a little iffy and questionable for me, but it's a great device with an absolutely gorgeous display, and it had 57 votes in week 45. Fourth in the People's Choice chart for week 45 was the LG or Google Nexus 4. It had 61 votes and it has a 4.7 inch 1280 by 768 pixel resolution display. It has 8 or 16 gigabytes of built-in storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 2100 milliamp hour battery, an 8 megapixel camera, and the key feature of that one is the price point. It is only either $299 or $349 without a contract. Now that's great, but the problem is that you can't find them. The stock is hard to come by, actually. They're pretty much impossible to come by right now. T-Mobile was replenished with stock this past week, and those were numbers of like five coming in stock. And Google, the Play Store, is still out of stock since November, I believe. So. It's hard to come by the Nexus 4, but it is number 4 on the People's Choice chart for week 45. Number 3 is a phone that we are no stranger to. Samsung has sold over 30 million of these things worldwide, and it is still one of the most popular phones today despite being a little older. It is the Samsung Galaxy S3. It has a 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display, a 1.5 GHz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor, 2 GB of RAM, 16 or 32 GB of built in storage, and an 8 megapixel camera and a 2100 milliamp hour battery. Now, like I said, it is a little older, but some new software features like multi-window and pop-up browser have made it, I guess, breathe some life back into it. It is slowly trickling down in our charts, but it's hanging in there at number three, and in week 45, it had 67 votes. Number two is also a very popular phone, especially with the Windows Phone crowd. It is the Nokia Lumia 920. It has a 4.5 inch Pure Motion HD Plus display, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabytes of built in storage, and a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Now it comes with wireless charging and NFC, but what really sets it apart, I guess, from the other Windows Phone devices is the camera. It has an 8 megapixel pure view camera, which has optical image stabilization and very awesome low light or nighttime shots. It has a spring system around the camera that stabilizes it and it keeps the shutter open longer, captures more light to produce a great low light shot. It had 101 votes in week 45 and it is the number two phone in the People's Choice chart and our official smartphone rankings. With 204 votes, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is also a very popular device. It has a 5.5 inch 720p HD Super AMOLED display, a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core Exynos chipset, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of built-in storage with a micro SD card slot, and a monster 3100 milliamp hour battery. Now it is a gigantic phone, and I'm actually not using it as a personal device now. Like I said, I'm doing a 30-day challenge with the Droid DNA, and I have actually sidelined the Galaxy Note 2 because I don't need to carry two Android phones. But it has some awesome multitasking features that really set it apart from something like the Droid DNA which also has a very large display. But the Galaxy Note 2 is more of a phablet where the Droid DNA is just a large smartphone. So the Galaxy Note 2 had 204 votes in week 45 and was the number one people's choice phone in our official smartphone rankings. The Mobile Tech Experts chart is kind of flip-flopped and backwards from the people's choice chart so it's kind of interesting. 
The Samsung Galaxy S3 has dropped to 5th place with only 16 points in week 45. The Google Nexus 4 leapfrogged the Samsung Galaxy S3 with 17 points. The HTC Droid DNA is slowly climbing the charts with 20 points in week 45. And Apple iPhone 5 has pretty much locked in 2nd place with 37 votes. And in 1st place is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 with 38 votes. It's pretty much solidified its place at the top for now in both charts. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and be sure to place your vote at phonedog.com slash rankings each week and come back here to watch the recap video with me every Tuesday starting today. Thanks for watching, I'm Taylor from phonedog.com, I'll see you soon. Hmm.